Hello, this is Carl James Lankford. This is my vlog for the 30th of July 2014 and it is a Wednesday. Now, vlogs are meant to be about your life and what's going on, uh, basically a daily diary. So for once, I'm going to do a daily diary and as it was today on Wednesday the 30th of July. Three, three main events today. The first event was posting a load of letters after packaging a load of things, getting them out. Um, very simple. Um, doing an archaeological walk, which was very straightforward. And then going over to my parents in the evening, very straightforward. Got home, that's it. Doing this um, film, and that's my day. But no, it's never that simple. Um, Obviously, lots of emotions going on, and um, lots of thinking. But I'm not going to go into all those on this vlog. But posting the letters, straightforward today, getting everything out, and then then the archaeological walk. There were 14 people on my archaeological walk today. Um, really warm day. Um, found out before going on the walk that this is a town with very few shops that actually sell fruit and vegetables strange um, and the reason why I say that is that I wanted to pick up um, an orange on the way to doing the walk couldn't find one anywhere bizarre isn't it a big town like Barry um, got onto the walk there were 14 of us all together um, did my usual stuff about showing people the route um, we went over to Sully Island well, I showed them some dinosaur footprints. Whilst I'm looking at them, I'm thinking these because there's two sets of dinosaur footprints in my area. There's the ones at the Bendrix in Barry that are definitely dinosaur footprints. You can see them; they you you know categorically that they are dinosaur footprints. And there's these ones that we saw today um, in Sully that didn't exactly look the bit, and they were really disappointing. But anyway, we did that, and. Um, I don't know if any of you have been in a situation where you've been walking and you've gone into an area where you thought, oh, um, it feels a bit negative around you, your energy's drained, yeah, well, that bit of thing on a walk, um, anyway, muttering there. So we get on to Sebi Island and it's a really nice place, it's um, making sure that everybody's aware that um, it's... Um, twice a day it gets cut off by water so we don't want to get trapped on there so looking at the island looking at the rocks um, looking just generally at the landscape and it was nice it was nice to be able to get into that and obviously back on to what I said yesterday about the archaeology is obviously relating to that's what's made me to present do the TV stuff so that's what I was doing today doing the archaeology and um, Get, getting some kind of enjoyment out of it, meeting some people that I hadn't met for ages on this walk, um, meeting Gareth again and his son Yian who was with me last year on the excavations, it was nice seeing them and other people from some of my other classes, meeting up with Barbara, Barbara and John who um, I only see once a month, I, I do work with John um, once a week occasionally as well, so it's good seeing them. Anyway, got back, ended up having a long walk back, um, really tired, really exhausted, um, getting to my parents' place and um, having something to eat. And, um, and one thing I realised was that whenever I'm talking to my parents, particularly my mother, it's, it's, there's, always, there's always family bickering things that I just don't want to deal with, you know, silly um, things that don't really mean anything and it, it, it seems to spoil moments sometimes and you just almost as if you want to sit there just doing nothing for a bit instead of having some negativity and it sort of spoilt the day but then again sometimes that's families and that's a shame that's not how I am with my children but anyway it was great my, my parents fed me great to have their company but Sometimes it's not good to have the negativity. I, I don't like that. And one point that um, I wanted to do today was look at Gaza um, and what's going on in Israel, Gaza and Israel and Palestine and all that type of area. Um, 
I'm quite shocked with what's going on because what's going on is that you know the UN itself um, Britain America the world is not doing anything about Israel and just letting them do what they're doing killing up to a thousand um, people living in Gaza innocent children men women for no reason at all seemingly and I think it's disgusting I don't want to get involved in politics I used to be a politician and I don't want to get involved now but what I can see is that there's unfairness in the world there's there's everybody having sanctions against the Russians and um, and I've got something else to say about that as well and they're saying look to the Russians you know you should stop supporting the separatists in the Ukraine because they downed the plane I don't think they did I think it was the Ukrainian government as I said a few nights ago um, and they 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 they're really making the people of Russia suffer really suffer because of things that might or might not be happening um, and Israel nobody's doing anything about it nobody cares and I've realized something as well you know and, and, and the UN it's a waste of space it's an absolute waste of space NATO it's a complete waste of space they don't do anything you know and I'm sorry to say the European Union has got more teeth and more muscle than the UN or NATO. I don't agree with Europe. I don't agree with the European Union. But, you know, we listen to the European Union across Europe. It, you know, we do. You know, courts, we listen to the European Union. Our laws are set by the European Union. Na NATO, UN, they say something about Israel. Nobody takes any notice. But because Russia is the nation that it is, the rest of the world does something. I, I, I don't get it. It's all a mess. I, I hate what's going on at this minute. Um, and, I, and I was uh, planning to go to Russia to... Um, anyway. But it looks like I'm, I'm not going to be able to go now because I can't get a flight. Um, it's being blocked. And um, I haven't had any communication with my contacts over there for some days, which is really weird. And it's all strange, strange stuff, strange times, strange politics. Anyway, we'll get back to some normal stuff tomorrow and get back a bit more down to earth, a bit more fun. But I'd say 